Hey guys, Ranchin, bringing on another StarCraft commentary. And the, this is going to be the second set of the Winner's League Finals, so very exciting stuff. Hwasung Oz against CJ Antis, or CJ Antis against Hwasung Oz, whichever order you prefer. I suppose I should say CJ Antis versus Hwasung Oz, and CJ Antis are sitting on the left, and Hwasung Oz are sitting on the right. That's fair, I suppose. So there you see a little view of both players just before, just after you saw the view of the stage, of the huge-ass stage that they're playing on. So now it's going to be Iris against Jadong. After Jadong having gotten the luck of the draw, uh, getting a Zerg opponent, a tough opponent in effort, but still managing to pull through. And now he's going to have a, uh, even another tough opponent in Iris. And especially since it's going to be playing on Sinchipung uh, Ryong, which is such a heavily Terran fair map. I'll go into that in, in just a minute. Uh, just going to tell you guys right now that I think this is going to be pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Four, three, two one go iris being one of those players that just pretty much good against every race doesn't have any specialty but it's not bad against anybody either it's just kind of like getting a little bit back into form this season getting most of the wins of all the cj players he's been one of their strongest this season so it's very interesting to see him kind of like he's not been doing too well in individual leagues but in pro league and winners league he's playing been playing pretty well and jaydong is of course jaydong so this is going to be sinji pangan which is heavily Terran Fair, simply do the position that you can do. There's uh, a lot of opportunities that you can use overall to just siege up and like hold positions. And if you can manage to hold the position, they're just going to come in so much in handy. There are some places that Xerxes can, uh, can use some tactics uh, that are very, you know, helpful to them, like attacking from the back. But uh, Terran have a pretty easy job of. Uh, defending against that though, just blocking it off. So getting positions a little bit late. One o'clock, we're gonna have Terran Iris Purple in purple, and at seven o'clock, lower left, we're gonna have Zerg Jadong in white or beige, whichever you prefer. Uh, Jadong is actually very good against Terran. He's very good against all races, so there is that. And just to tell you guys right now that I'm not, I don't have internet right now. I just, I'm forcing to, I'm being forced to download these games at the library and then commentate them at home. So I don't actually have statistics because. I'm not going to bother spoiling it myself with all the players, I'm sorry. So I actually don't have statistics, and there's Gogo, -Go, I believe, sitting. Uh, uh, Overpull apparently going on from Jadong, and we're going to see Iris should be putting his first barracks down very soon. But yeah, I don't have any statistics to really say. So any statistics I actually claim, they're something I know from my own personal experience as a commentator. Either something I like pull forward, uh, pull forth with... Uh, analysis or something alongside or something I just uh, you know randomly pull out of the deep dark dim confines of my rectal cavity so yeah just whichever of those three it is it's one of those so I don't know you can feel free and ignore or not but I think I, in some ways I know what I'm talking about so barracks almost up for iris and Jada I'm gonna expand after getting that spawning pull there's a sign that says Victory Hwasung Oz and another huge ass awesome sign that says Berserker Terran and I want that banner. God damn, that is the coolest banner I've seen so far. Even better than the Revolutionist banner, any banner. I want that Berserker Terran banner. God damn. Uh, Six Dragon is now on the way for Jadong, so he's gonna put on some pressure to start off. Iris getting the scout inside, so he's gonna know that he's gonna have Six Dragon on his eyes. This might actually be a delay tactic for him. He's definitely gonna be forcing Jadong to possibly kill that scout before he goes to put on some pressure. Also, not getting gas on the other side. Iris gonna pull, gonna pull his SCV back a ways, and meanwhile has SCV at the natural expansion. I'm thinking he might actually be going in barracks into expansion. Also gonna actually block off his ramp, so he might be going something a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna see. I've seen a lot of players that when when a Terran player blocks off the early ramp, it means usually that, well, not usually, but often means that he wants to hide seven. He has three SCVs and a couple of Marines, mind you. That is also just to not prevent those Zergers from getting up, but also to prevent a scout, and that is gonna help him prevent a scout. There's another view of Savior here. They're showing him quite a bit. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of people, including myself, actually look forward to seeing him play in this game, and I definitely think he is. If it goes that far. He is going to be playing, and with these two teams, definitely think it's going to happen. So, actually, command center. So it is. Iris isn't even going to expand. He just want to make sure the Jadon doesn't get a scout on uh, on that until he really has to. Just often, I've seen some players. Oh, Iris getting doing a good job there of getting the SCV and is spotting that lair. So he's going to know to probably expect two base mutas. That's what Jadon really likes doing at this point. He's such a good noodles player. But yeah, often I've seen Terrans actually block off the ramps to go for some interesting strategy. Go barracks into factory and then getting a star uh, dual going for you know double starports get going wraiths and just owning zergs because they had no idea it was coming 
but if that would have been the case, the gas would have been up much earlier for Iris. He would have had the factory up much earlier, but now getting a second uh, barracks alongside the academy, going to be floating his command center up as soon as that's ready. Where on the other side, I think almost done for Jairong. Having some Zerglings all over the map, trying to get a scout on, trying to make sure that Iris is not doing something funky because he hasn't gotten a scout in yet far, doesn't really know what Iris is doing. Iris Mimo just has five Marines just up on his ramp just to make sure that he blocks that off. He's not, like many Zerglings uh, turn players, I'm sorry, they just go down in front of their natural expansion to block off and sometimes the Zergling managed to slip through. Meanwhile, on the other side, a second extractor being put down alongside a Spire for Jaden. So he is indeed going to go for two base, two base Spire, two base Mutas. We're going to see, I think he might be actually expanding at the lower right corner. That's, yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to put down a hatchery there, and meanwhile, Iris is going to be now full at this command center. So, uh, economic like this game is going to be pretty even. We're going to see whether Jadon goes for this uber aggressive expansion style that he's been using against Terrans and has really come in handy but uh, we're gonna see whether Iris manages to pull off some crazy crazy medic marine play um, haven't really seen Jaehyung use Queens yet for a while but he himself has admitted in an interview really that it's uh, it's a build that takes a lot of practice and is very hard to pull off takes a lot of e economic uh, mechanics timing APM just everything has to be perfect to really manage to pull that base off to really make those Queens worthwhile and you got to be careful you also got to try to surprise your opponent with those Queens overall Jaehyung I mean, just floating some overlords around trying to get some scouting and all his spire almost ready saving up some larva for some uh, Mutalisks, I see, he's probably going to get five of those. He was apparently thinking of putting down a creep colony, I think, but apparently canceled that because he didn't see Iris moving forward. Iris, meanwhile, now adding even more more barracks. Also has an engineer, engineer bay up at the right-hand corner, probably going to get those upgrades going. Third extractor being put up by Jadon, so Jadon is going to go very gas-heavy as soon as he can, just going to get those Mutalisks to start off with. Then we're going to see whether transitions into anything else. Not seeing the usual um, two bar two extra hatcheries for him and missile turrets on the other side being put down by iris probably gotten the scout off on that spire also putting a barracks uh bunker i'm sorry at the nacho expansion rear entry so he rear entry <laughs> but anyway uh putting those back there because he knows those organs might become the ways uh done this perfectly putting only a single marine in there but if it's only going to be a couple of strings that should be just fine turrets being put down by iris i'm not quite sure if he has enough i'm also not quite sure if he has enough medic marine forces we're going to see how jetting manages that six mutalists they're flying around going to meet one turret and medic marine go i'm actually going to fly right into it Going to take nothing but hits. Also going to take some hits from the other mis missile turret at the natural expansion. So all, all in all, the kind of turret placement Iris is going for just to prevent those mutas from flying in. And just going to, if they actually do decide to fly in, it's going to prevent them. Jairong, meanwhile, on the other side, actually managed to get a pretty decent hit. Getting a couple of marines. Not going to go for the SUV line. There is one single turret there. As well, alongside that bunker. Now just going to fly around trying to t pick off as many marines as they can. Marines, meanwhile, trying to engage marines. Don't have the weapons one upgrade yet critically. So Iris not being able to do quite as much damage as he would have wanted to. Taking out a mutalist there, though. I think he's managed to damage was moving quite heavily at this point though. Jadon again the flying back trying to engage as well as he can. Uh, Iris also trying to build a turret at every single location that he needs to, to. And Iris more playing a medic marine game. You, often you see some Terran players putting down like a crap load of missile turrets and just let those defend. But Iris is only uh, putting his missile turrets at very specific locations and trusting his medic marine micro to defend overall. So Jadon has killed a couple ACVs but not really. Also some medic marines but hasn't done too much damage. Has lost some mutas but now he's going to go in for another strafing run. There are a couple of turrets that are meter. Third turret is not going to be put up because the ACV gets taken out. A couple of marines are running into position but they're all going to be killed as well. Some more marines now running around so they're going to force that mutalist group to fly right away and Jaehyung just overall so far in very good position both players really not in that bad position Iris just has to put down more turrets so far because he knows this uh, harassment is coming also putting down another bunker uh, um, barracks I'm sorry so Iris is definitely forced to put down a lot of turrets but doing overall a decent job of pulling those mutalists back and just forcing them backwards just been forced into using these marines finally now has the weapons once so that's definitely going to come in handy I'm not seeing don't think Jaehyung has any upgrades for those mutalists alongside those turrets which at this point he has plenty he has plenty of and alongside the medic marine group which he's done a pretty decent job of keeping alive while wow, four turrets there at the net at the main expansion along al along with a lot of scvs iris apparently not really paying too much attention i think he's just keeping those scvs just so he can repair when the time comes and now the moose are actually going to fly it's like getting a full-on scout not just going to try to kill any random scvs flying around also trying to kill some marines that are trying spawning 
uh, spawning out of those barracks, but running into a lot of turrets, lots of them, running into a lot of marine fire, just actually Jaylong doing a pretty decent job of trying to keep his moves alive, but getting him shot in a lot of locations. Now he's over a decent SCV line, just trying to keep some random SCVs, he's also trying to kill some spawning marines, just doing an overall wonderful harassing job, forcing Irish to run around with all his marines and getting a bunch of them killed, just Iris not really backing them up too well with his with his medics as he should be doing, so again Miller's not flying for another strafing on those at those SCV line, but they're gonna get hit by a lot of turrets, losing some, uh, a lot of Mutalists there actually, now just a single Mutalist apparently just gonna fly off, so, uh, Jaden doing a pretty decent harassment there, killing some troops alongside some SCVs, but losing most of his Mutalists while he's going at, but he has more Mutalists being on the other side to help him, uh, reinforce and just go for another harassment at that location, and Iris now actually going to push out a little bit with his medic marine, just trying to get a spawn, and this is what Jadang really needs to prevent, because uh, Iris knows that Jadang at this point, he's not in a very uh, good defensive position, Jadang now has meanwhile weapons, one for his Muro, so he's really trying to go full on with his Muro, trying to do a lot of harassment, getting some sh getting shot meanwhile on the other side, and also getting shot by those turrets, now going to go for the natural expansion, where there are some turrets, bunkers, and everything to defend, now, Iris meanwhile has the SCV inside of Jadang's main, so he gets the full on scout, knows that Jadang is not quite yet going for the hive,